Hello. Okay, so I have this thing that I do that doesn't make me feel good. Then stop it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> We're not kidding. I'm working on it. I'm definitely, definitely working on it. And it and happens less. Are we going to talk about it now? Yes. Then you're not working on it. Well, okay. I know. Yeah. You yeah. do know. I know. Okay, so I want oh. to. No, just. <laughs> I want and I will stop this feeling that I get, but I have this thing that I do and. Yeah, it's, I'm doing it now. It's feeling jealous for what other people have yeah. and wanting what other people have. Yeah. And it's definitely happening less and less and less, especially since the South Pacific cruise. I've definitely focused on getting, uh, focused on being happy for what other people have got well, in their lives. We are happy to talk with you about this, but it's important that you understand that you are misunderstanding something. Yes. Because when you say I'm jealous about what other people have, What is actually happening is that you've put things into your vortex which, for whatever reason, and we can talk about some of the reasons, you are depriving yourself of. You're not letting yourself move toward what you want. And so in the not moving toward what you want, there's a gap which feels uncomfortable, feels unpleasant. And you are calling it jealousy and you are assigning it to what others have accomplished. But it isn't about what others have accomplished. It's only about what you are depriving yourself of. Now, we know that you've come far enough to know that them having it is not keeping you from having it. Them having it is just pointing out that they are in alignment with whatever it is. And that's what you're feeling discomfort about. They are in alignment and I am not. They are in alignment and I am not. Well. To focus upon not being in alignment is to hold oneself longer out of alignment. So what you want to do is think of the ways that you are often in alignment, not in a comparative to what others have way, but in a comparative to how you feel under different conditions way. Are you hearing us just a little bit? We're going to be very clear as we say, you think that it is about manifestations versus manifestations. I don't have these manifestations. These people do have these manifestations. So you think it's about that comparison. It is not. In fact, it doesn't have anything to do with them, except that they're pointing out to you a gap in your own vibration. So it's not about them having and you not having. It's about you not having the alignment that you want. Now, let's make this even more practical. When we tell you that everything that you desire is in a vibrational form in your vortex, we mean it. So when we say there is a gap between you and you, that's accurate. But it may help you to hear us say there's a gap between you and the stuff you want. It's a vibrational gap, only a vibrational gap. It's not about anything else. So when you feel that feeling coming on and you're associating it with being aware of someone else having success at something that you want, say to yourself, thank to them, to, but not out loud to them, to them, to yourself, thank you for pointing my gap out to me. Thank you for pointing out this vibrational gap in me. And what is this gap? I say to myself, it's me focused upon what I think is now instead of upon what really is now. Because you see, oh, here's something so important for you to hear. If it weren't in your vortex and if it were not real, you would not feel the gap. If there weren't a gap, you wouldn't feel a gap. So if it weren't in the vortex, you wouldn't feel the absence of it in your now if it weren't over there. If it didn't exist there, you wouldn't feel it now. It hasn't got anything to do with anybody else. 
It's only about what you've put into your vortex and what you're letting turn into a thing for you. Did you follow that just a little bit? That should have taken you into a new place. So we're going to say it again in an even clearer way. If I had not, through the life that I am living, if I have not put into the vortex this wonderful vibrational manifestation, this vibrational reality, then I could not feel this discomfort when I focus otherwise. Therefore, this discomfort that I am feeling and this discomfort that I'm calling jealousy is evidence that it's real and that it's there. So, oh, guilt, jealousy, blame, my precious feelings. <laughs> you are evidence of the reality of something that I have only to relax a little bit to allow to turn to my things, to my things, to my things, to my relationships, to my experiences, to mine. Helpful? Very. Definitely. I need, yeah, I, I am. I'm going to stop it. I, I'm going to stop it. I'm. So you stand in a feeling of jealousy, but now you understand it. So understanding it means you're not beating yourself up for it. Understanding it means I've created so many fantastic things and it may be taking a while for me to catch up. And I don't need to explain or justify why it's taking me a while to catch up. It's obvious that I'm not caught up or it would have already turned to a thing. And boy, am I looking forward to the evolution. I'm looking forward to the thoughts turning to the things. I'm looking forward to the feelings coming over me and the evidence showing itself. I'm looking forward to every bit of this journey. Friends, are you really that eager to get to Rome? Hello, Captain. We're tired of this. Take us directly to our destination. Never mind the journey. Never mind the journey. Let's just go to where we know we're going. I saw it on the itinerary. I want it now. I want it right now. I want my destination now. Right now. Or do you? Are you going to enjoy the softening of that jealousy? Are you going to enjoy the clarity that comes from it? Are you going to enjoy the clarification? Are you going to savor the pieces falling into place? And when you get there, oh, how wonderful those final pieces falling into place are going to feel to you. So good. Yeah. 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 And meanwhile, you are where you are, and that's good too. It's great. I love it. I'm in love with it. I'm so, in love with the journey. You felt a little shift, didn't you? Yeah. Definitely. And the reason that we were combining the word jealousy with guilt is because you're guilty about jealousy. Mm. <sighs> but that was then and this is now because you now understand that in either case it's just you continuing a little separation between who you really are. Call it growing pains. Call it expansion pains. My life caused me to really put things over here and it's taken me a little while to focus only there because now has so much of my attention. I'm a human being who likes seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching. And I'm just kind of carried away with wanting everything to be tangible when there are so many things that are delightful to watch coming into place. Have you ever put anything together, gathered pieces and put them into a room or gathered clothing and put them into your closet or gathered friends and put them at a dinner table? Don't you just love picking up this funny one and this funny one and this funny one and this funny one? Don't you remember a time when that funny one wasn't there? And don't you like it better now that that funny one is there? But wasn't it okay before that funny one came? You see what we're getting at? There is no completion to what you're becoming. And so you've got to make yourself feel ease about the eternal incompletion that is you. The eternal incompletion that is you. That's the definition of an eternal being. The eternal incompletion that is you. 
And if you're focusing upon the incompletion and calling it something that you should feel bad about, then you're always going to feel bad because there's always going to be more in your vortex than you have allowed yourself to realize. There better be stuff in there still coming because first of all, oh, now we're appealing to your logic. It could not all manifest all at once. What an avalanche of overwhelmment that would be. All the food you're ever going to eat on your table today. <laughs> Felt like that last night, didn't it? <laughs> all the food you're ever going to eat on your table today. You don't want that. You want it to come. Or all the people who you love in your life all showing up at your house on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> You only know two people? <laughs> you don't want them all there at once. You couldn't possibly enjoy them, devour them, savor them. You don't want it all at once. You want it to come incrementally and you want it to be an evolution. So what you are, you are eternal adapters to the new you. And we know when you have become used to seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, so you're trying to manage everything from an action orientation or from a having orientation, we know this is a little tricky in the beginning of that. But oh, once you relax into the eternal evolution and expansion and adaptation that is you, then you just relax and you wait to be surprised and delighted. You know you're stable and you wonder in which way is it going to unfold now and now and now and now. So there's no time for jealousy because it's unfolding constantly. It's constantly becoming, constantly becoming, constantly becoming. And when you're focused upon what is becoming rather than upon what isn't becoming quite fast enough, what isn't becoming starts becoming more soon. And we're not kidding about this. We will have a cruise and the title of the cruise will be learning how to de-manifest, <laughs> de-manifestation. I am buried in all of the things that I thought I wanted. I need to de-manifest. So what's happening is you're learning to manage your vibrations. You're so interesting. You're bored and then you're overwhelmed <laughs> and then you're bored. And then you're overwhelmed and you know, that's not a bad balance unless you're overwhelmed or bored. In other words, just don't let it get too far one way or the other. Bring it back into balance, back into balance, back into balance. Really good. Enough? Yes. Thank really you. Really good. <laughs>